Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dorotea from Krobe Patterns and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute baby romper. The stitch count presented in the video tutorial is for 0 to 6 months as well as written instructions on my blog but you can find the PDF pattern available in my pattern shops with one additional size. I will leave all the links in the description box below. For this tutorial you are going to need worsted weight yarn. I'm using 100% cotton yarn called Drops Paris and you're going to need 3 skeins of this yarn, 2 in green and 1 in beige. In addition to that you're going to need 4.5mm crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needles, stitch markers, and two buttons, two centimeters in diameter. You can find more information about the pattern on my blog and in the PDF file. But before we start with the tutorial, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like you and me. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes on a range of topics of graphic design, photography, video, fine art, music, illustration, and much more. I have been a member of Skillshare for a while now and love learning new skills. It's meant specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. I love painting and sketching. I prefer putting my ideas on a of paper first and then once I have that I start working on samples, crocheting and designing patterns. I recently started a class called Watercolor in Woods, a beginner's guide to painting the natural world by Rosalie Hazlett. She's a wonderful teacher teaching everything about watercolors and how to take inspiration from nature. It's a great class, I would totally recommend it if you're interested in watercolors, but if you prefer other topics like music, photography or even how to sell your finished crochet items, you will find the class about all all of that and a lot more on Skillshare. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The romper is made from the bottom up so we are going to start with the leg panels. Take the main color of your yarn, in my case that is going to be green. You can pick any colors you like and create a foundation chain made of 25 chains. Now start in the second chain from the crochet hook, the one on your hook does not count as a chain and create a half double crochet stitch. This is going to be our main stitch in this project so go ahead and watch the steps on how to make half double crochet stitch as many times as you need. Worth mentioning here is also that I am using back bumps of the foundation chain for my stitches, so for my very first row, but you can use any loops you want as long as you have 24 stitches, so 24 half double crochet stitches at the end of your first row. At the end of the row switch the color and those are the steps you are going to follow for your first 4 rows. Each row will have 24 half double crochet stitches and at the end of each row you are going to switch the colors.
Row 5 is our first row of increases, which means we are going to create two half double crochet stitches into the same stitch at the beginning and at the end of the row. So two half double crochet stitches into the first one, one half double crochet stitch into the next 22 stitches and finish the row with two half double crochet stitches made into the same stitch. Now row 6 is going to give us even more stitches. Start the row with 3 half double crochet stitches, after that work 1 half double crochet stitch into each of the next 24 stitches and finish the row with 3 half double crochet stitches made into the last stitch. That should give you 30 stitches in total. The first panel is now complete, cut the yarn and fasten off, repeat the steps for the second panel. The pattern for the second panel is exactly the same as the first one and you have to follow the same steps one more time. Now let's start working on the main part, here we are going to join both panels together. Start with the slip knot and one chain. Once you have that, attach the chain to the first panel with half double crochet stitch. Make sure the loops on your hook stay wrapped around your hook the whole time you are making the stitch. I am holding my loops here with my index finger while holding the crochet hook. Then create two additional half double crochet stitches in that same stitch. Now continue with half double crochet stitches. No increases for now, just work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 28 stitches. Thank you. 
work three half double crochet stitches into the last stitch. Chain 1, attach the second panel with a half double crochet stitch, same as before, and then work 2 additional double crochet stitches into that first stitch. Work one half double crochet into each of the next 28 stitches and then work three half double crochet stitches into the very last stitch of the row or now round. Join the round with a slip stitch made into the very first chain of the round. Make sure your work is not twisted, double check everything and then start with a slip stitch but just before you finish it, switch the color. Row 2 is very simple, all you need to do is to start the row with one chain, then turn your work, skip the slip stitch from the row below and work one half double crochet stitch into every stitch and chain from the row below. At the end you should have 70 stitches in total. Join the round with a slip stitch and before you finish it, switch the color. Repeat that 14 more times. After you finish row 16 on the main part of the romper, come back and I will show you how to make rounds with decreases.
We are now in round 17. We are almost done with the second part of the project, only six rows left. Now I'm going to show you how to make one row of decreases and explain how to do the rest yourself. It's very easy and you can do it. Don't forget, we are still switching between two colors every round. We're going to make the decreases on the hips, which means we are going to make simple half double crochet stitches first. So work one half double crochet into each of the next 15 stitches. Once you have that, create your first half double crochet two together stitch. I'm aware that I make this stitch a little bit different than most of you, so if you have your own way how to do it, that's perfectly fine too. After joining two half double crochet stitches together, work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then create another decrease by joining two half double crochet stitches together. After that, work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 29 stitches. Then repeat the decreases. So join first two stitches with a half double crochet two together stitch, then work one half double crochet into each of the next two, and then decrease again, half double crochet two together stitch. Finish the row with simple half double crochet stitches. So one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 14 stitches. Join the round with a slip stitch. The next two rounds are pretty simple. All you have to do now is work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 66 stitches. Those are rounds 18 and 19. Round 20 is the round of decreases again. All you need to do now is to work one half double crochet into each of the first 14 stitches, then create a decrease, half double crochet two together stitch, then work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next two, decrease again, half double crochet two together stitch, work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 27 stitches, decrease again, so half double crochet two together, work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, decrease again, half double crochet two together, and then finally, work one half double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches, giving you 62 stitches in total. If you need additional guidance, hop over to my blog and follow the written instructions there. Round 20 and 21 are very simple. Just work one half double crochet stitch into each of the 62 stitches, then cut the yarn, fasten off, and continue with the upper front and back part of the romper. Now we are going to use four stitch markers and mark three stitches on each hip, 28 stitches apart. The side with the joining seam is the back side of the romper and another one is the front side. Now is the time you can pick the inside and the outside of the romper, but that's entirely up to you.
Attach the yarn next to the stitch marker with a simple chain, then start crocheting. Join first two with a half double crochet to together stitch, you remember this one from the main part of the romper, then work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 24 stitches. And join the last two stitches of the row with a half double crochet to together stitch. The next row is exactly the same, just that you have two stitches less than in row one. So start with the decrease, half double crochet two together stitch, then work one half double crochet stitch into each of the next 22 stitches and finish the row with the decrease. So half double crochet two together stitch. We are still switching the colors every row we make. Row 3 is the same thing, just 2 stitches less than row 2. So join first 2 stitches with a half double crochet to together stitch, then work 1 half double crochet stitch into each of the next 20 stitches and join the last 2 stitches with a half double crochet to together stitch. Switch the color one last time. After row 3, continue with the same color. The pattern for rows 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 is the same. Just work one half double crochet stitch into each stitch, then cut the yarn and fasten off. The pattern for the back upper part for rows 1 to 8 is the same as for the front part of the romper. After row 8, repeat the row of half double crochet stitches two more times, then continue with the straps.
So the straps are made of 11 rows of half double crochet stitches plus one row with a buttonhole. Start each row with one chain, then work one half double crochet stitch into each of four stitches. After each row, turn your work and start with a new row. Row 12 is simple, all you have to do is to work one half double crochet stitch into each of four stitches. Then once you have that row, create five chains, attach the chain to the first stitch of the row with two slip stitches. Turn your work and start crocheting around the chain. Work 8 single crochet stitches around the chain. Finish the row with 2 slip stitches made into the side of the strap. Cut the yarn and fasten off. The pattern for the second strap is the same as it was for the strap number 1, skip 14 stitches on the back upper part and attach the yarn to the romper, repeat the steps for the strap. Once the straps are complete, attach the buttons to the front upper part of the romper. So the very last step is to sew the leg panels. For that I will be sewing and gathering my rows and stitches twice. I will join the slip stitches made with green yarn with green yarn and stitches made with beige yarn with beige yarn. Please make sure you turn the romper inside out first so that the nicer side is facing in, then do the sewing and turn the romper right side out. Congratulations, the romper is finished. If you use this pattern, please make sure you tag me on Instagram. I'm always so happy to see how creative you all are and to see your creations made using my crochet patterns. That would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. It's always so nice to have you here. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you Skillshare for kindly sponsoring this video. Happy crocheting everyone and I see you all very soon. Bye!